welcome to the vlog. Aiden's home again, 103.5. Just got home from dropping off Andrew at preschool, but we're gonna swab him for strep because this is crazy. He went to school yesterday, but didn't go to school Tuesday. And now he's worse than he ever was, so. Poor kid said he feels really, really sick. He's shivering and he looks really bad. And he just, his head is pounding. Okay, let's do this. really wide and sit on your hands because they always say sitting on your hands is best because then you won't go anywhere. And you're so much better than Owen because Owen was fighting mommy and daddy on this the other night like tooth and nail. Okay, so open your mouth really huge and wide and look up. Stick your tongue out. Say ah. ah. Good job. Sorry. I know it's awful. Sorry, buddy. I've done this so many times. Practice, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, buddy. Please wants to break. Wait, sorta of, kinda of like a pregnancy test, but not. It looks negative. Looking rather negative. I don't know if it's too early, but totally negative. I'm kind of bummed about it because if it was positive, I could just get a medicine and it'll be a quick recovery. Um, he's been feeling lousy since Monday night when he had the headache first and, and got the fever Tuesday. Um, it's totally negative. There is no second line. So the doctor said, don't bother bringing him in because if it's viral, they're just going to say, you know, fluids, alternate the medicine, blah, 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 watch him. You know, make him feel comfortable, all that stuff. He can't do anything. So they said if it's not feeling better tomorrow, to give them a call back because that's a long time with a fever. We go pick up Broski. You will be needing these. These are your pants. <laughs> so we forgot to talk about the Cubs today. We are so thrilled that the Cubs won. We were watching the game last night. We were having family time on the couch watching World Series Game 7. They went to bed around, all the kids, big kids. Andrew went to bed at a regular time. 9.15, kind of late, right? But it was special. We all want, we're rooting for the Cubs. Crazy great game. One of the best baseball games we probably ever watched. And Chris and I shut it off when they put the tarp on the field for the rain delay, 10th inning, 6-6. Six, six. I know, crazy time to stop watching, but I was exhausted and I was afraid it was just gonna keep on going. And so when my eyes popped open this morning, first thing I thought of was, did the Cubs win? Chris thought they might choke. I don't know. I was t totally loving everything about that. Oh my god, something bad just fell down the stairs. And it wasn't a kid, but it was some like a good bit of device. 
was a bottle. Oh, it was a bottle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, go Cubbies. We're so thrilled that they won. It's a long time coming. So, um, hooray to all the Cubs fans out there. So I came up here thinking I might be able to edit a video. Clearly someone's watching Ryan's toy review. And poor Aiden was trying to rest. And everyone wants to know why the kids are always so sick. Because they're always snuggling and loving on each other, giving each other their cooties. Right? That's how it works around here. Too many preschool and school cooties. And too much love. Too much love, too much love. Got home from school. Just, just tell everyone so they can all laugh at me. Just humorous. She came in the front door and I said, "So are you sick?" And she said, "Yes." She has the chills. Medicine. Medicine. What do you yes. want? The chewable or the liquid? Chewable. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> I'll be right back. I don't want to. She moves, it hurts, and she, what do you say? No. I move, I get the chills. She gets the chills. Oh, I knew this was coming. Can I have some water? Yeah, at least it's gonna be a quiet house this evening. Let's pray Owen's all right still. <laughs> Poor Aiden, he is so, so sick. Emily's up to feeling better with her medicine. But Aiden, I took his temperature at one point and got 106.2, and then I got 106, and then I got 106, then I got 105.5, then I got 103, then I got 102. <sighs> now he's 100. What did I just get? Um, like 101.5. But that's super high, super scary, and I gave him more medicine immediately when I saw that. My God. So we're alternating. Acetaminophen and ibuprofen, and he's got a raging headache. He's gonna have to go to the doctor's tomorrow if he's not feeling better. He said he's never been this sick, and I don't remember ever seeing him this sick. He's really, really not feeling well. Doing much better. He's 99, but we're at the doctor's office getting him checked out just to be safe. It's really high fever. It's like the best you've looked all day. I just re swabbed him for strep. She thought it was that. She saw spots on his throat, but it came up negative. And they just tested him for the flu. And now we're waiting on those results. Let's hope they're negative. Poor little guy. Okay, kids, it's a wrap. Virus. Emily's in bed. When we were at the doctor's, she went up to bed like feeling awful. She never does that. Chris gave her more medicine. We gave Aiden more medicine. So they are fighting some nasty, awful virus, and it's nasty and bad, and they've just had a hard time with it. It's been going on for over a week now. So people that are always like, Ann, why are your kids always so sick? I have four of them. I have four. And when you have a little one who's in preschool and putting his fingers in his mouth, he starts it, right? So the little one starts it. Or someone gets something at school and then they all just share the germs and that's it. It's not like anything crazy. It's just that I have four of them and they like to be close to each other. They love each other, they really do. They might kill each other at times, but they also cuddle 
and get close and kiss and snuggle up on each other and that's how they all get sick and this is my life I'll miss this one day so I'm gonna maybe make a playlist called Annie's kids are sick Stow kids Stow kids are sick sick Stow kids I don't even know but I could have a running playlist of all the things that we got we're not puking thumbs up for that it could be so much worse it's just a virus um, but that high fever is just the doctor assured me that he's totally okay in the neck um, Viral meningitis is like when they really have stiff necks and can't move and moving the legs and all of that she showed me, but he's okay. And she actually said that kids can go as high as like 108 to 110 and that's when it gets really scary. But she said my thermometer was probably a little off or like he was under blankets when I took his temperature, but like 106.2 was the highest reading I ever got in my entire life on a kid. So that was scary and he looked bad and I knew he wasn't eating and I was like, something's wrong here. So we ruled out strep. We ruled out flu, so it's gotta be some crazy virus that they've all had a taste of. I'm going to bed, so I don't get it, and I have a big old night out tomorrow. All you Foxborough mom and dads, moms and dads know that we're all going to the bed auction, and I better win a GD basket. I haven't won a basket since Emily was in kindergarten. Emily is now in fifth grade. I'm due. I need to win a basket. I'm going to bed. I'll say my little basket prayers. And just congrats to all the Cub fans out there in the world. I remember how glorious it felt to have that win under your belt. I'm a Red Sox fan and the curse and all that. I know what it felt like in 2004. So enjoy it. It's an amazing feeling and you won't ever know that feeling again in your life. So enjoy it, Cub Cubs fans. So with you, totally, totally happy for all the Cubs all the Cubs fans out there. It's amazing. That was an amazing baseball game. All right. Toodles. See you tomorrow. Everybody, be well.